Got another special one today. This one is going to be a gold Baron fountain pen. Um, but this is another one of those dog ash blanks for a, a cremated family member. Puppy passed away. Did one uh, the other day for the mom. Going to be doing this one for the puppy father. And uh, we're going to be doing this, like I said, a gold Baron fountain pen. This one I tried to get as close to the dog's colors as possible. The dog was kind of like a light brand with some dark light brown with some darker undertones in his fur coat so we've got here is some uh, rose gold body paint mixed in with some bronze body paint and just a little bit of antique brass uh, pearlex powder give it a really nice shimmering effect it's got some good depth because i added that pearlex powder so it wasn't just a solid like you can see here this is just a solid color you can't see into it but that Perlex powder gives it some depth so you can actually see in, get some shimmering patterns. Makes it really nice. Let me hit this with a little water. You can see what I'm talking about. You see that? It's got some depth to it. Really pretty stuff. Now, as you can see, I went through and I vacuumed up everything, got everything all nice and clean. We are going to be reclaiming the shavings with this um, because they want all of the pieces back. All the little cutoff pieces, all the shavings and everything. Um, and I'm going to reclaim all those and I'm going to do something up special for them. this all cleaned up I'm gonna save all of the shavings that you see here and then uh, I'm gonna get to polishing this up let's get this special pen put together here first thing that I want to do is I'm going to set how my fountain pen nib is going to sit on so I'm going to thread in the bushing here on the end and then we're gonna take that little tip off discard that to the side and then I've got this band here, and this is my the center where my center line is here. Let me see. You can kind of see the silver inside of there. So this is my center band section. So I'm going to decide how I want that ash band to look leading into it. I kind of want it to lead up to where the nib is. So you can see how it leads up to this section here. So I'm going to kind of press that in slightly just till it locks down and then we'll thread our nib out and press that in just like that. Really nice fit. Now we're going to put our nib back on because our next step is to thread on our center band bushing and then we need to press this together so that it lines up appropriately how it's supposed to be that's with that line going toward the top and then you can see that line going all the way through and that line that you're seeing is the ash line so the ash sank in the blank and then made that different colored line so we're going to press that together like that so now we will unthread that and press these parts together good fit there well, let me just double check here yep got, got good lines going across you see that concentricity line all the way across there so now I need to decide how's my cap gonna go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
my clip. I'm going to run it right down the center of where those two ash bands are. And I think that's going to look the best like that. A little more centered. There we go. So now the customer, all they'll have to do is just put it a little off center right in between the ash band and the clip. Thread that together and they'll get a perfect line all the way down. So all that's left now is to press in our post cap. It just goes right on the back here. Now I have to press in these two tiny parts, which is a little bit difficult since I've got such large hands, but these two cups make this task really easy. Thread that onto the back. Onto my nib. Line that nib up right in between the clip and the ash band. There we have it. There's one beautiful pen. And it turned out really nice. You can actually see there are some portions of bone, like there's a piece of bone right there. So you can actually see portions of what used to be their loved one inside that pen. Not for everyone, but it's a cool little keepsake to keep your loved ones with you. All right, I'm gonna get that shipped.